Previously on Red State, we had three weeks to drag out the old Chop Shop Polo project from the weeds and turn it from a once famous six wheel polo into a now amphibious six wheel polo. We poured our blood, sweat and tears into the build. Really, really good enough about this. Just about managed to pull it off in time, even if Corey did only paint it the night before we left. All we had to do now was get to Henley on Thames for the traditional boat festival in order to launch our not so traditional boat for the first time. And that's exactly where you join us now today. So if you haven't watched the video before, make sure you go back and watch that video and then join us back here so you're up to speed on what's happening. And of course, don't forget to hit subscribe and like this video as well. If you've just joined us, then um, go back to the video we've just made and see how we built this beautiful thing. But if you've been following, then welcome to Henley, one of the poshest boat festivals in the world. And we are here being complete cabbages with our polo that we built with expanding foam. When I show you around, you'll see the kind of expense of all the other machines and then the kind of expense of what we've built. But we haven't tested it yet. We didn't do any testing. We finished building it last night. Got here, got it all on the truck. Uh, it was about 11 o'clock when we got here, Burns pitch black so um, yeah today is going to be the maiden voyage will it sink will it swim all your bets are going to be answered now but before that let's have a little look around Henley the traditional boat festival is a boating event that started in the 1970s at Forley Meadows in Henley on Thames it was started as a rally for enthusiasts of older traditional type crafts that at the time was fast disappearing from life on the Thames it's a four day event where classic cars, military vehicles and boats of all shapes and sizes gather together to enjoy a spot of music and some sailing in the sun. But you're not here to see us walk around a nice festival eating fine foods and drinking till the lights go off, you're here to see if our three weeks of work had been in vain, if we'd be swimming with the fishes tonight or celebrating a floating victory and finally that time had come. Wants to walk right away because we're ramming him Thankfully we were able to stay above the water and before we knew it we were sailing up and down the Thames in true style. Although we weren't exactly a traditional boat but everyone at the festival seemed to be enjoying it. However there was still one more task to check off the list and that was to see if the boat's wagon could actually drive back out the water and up the boat ramp. Unfortunately the boat ramp at the show had a metal grid over it which was making it quite difficult to get over the thing. A 
After failing to get up the boat ramp, all we could do now is jump back in the water and continue our adventures, hopefully not running into any more issues along the way. As you can all see, me, Corey and Charlie have our sailors hats on for the uh, very posh boat festival. Turns out we were just about to hit another series of issues as our engine decided to start giving us a little bit of bother. Nothing serious, I've just put the oars away. Yeah, maybe get them oars back out. Fuel? Watch, 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 watch! Gage is reading very empty. Nothing? Maybe top it up. Can't be nothing, it's pretty bat full it is. Alright. starting to go from bad to worse and now we were royally stuck in the middle of the Thames with no power. Luckily for us a native boatsman seen us in trouble and thought he'd best come back to save the day. I'm not willing to accept it just yet, we're just still tinkering. <laughs> Thank you very kindly though. Where did you get in? At the show? Or the At the show? Yeah. Yeah. Will we do a circle or two? We'll be alright, we're still going to keep tinkering, don't worry. I like the stir. <laughs> well, I think we'll thank you though. I'll have another beer and I'll celebrate. <laughs> Perfect. Why won't you bastarding start? Why you, fix it? you can do it to me, I have lost the spark from somewhere or other. Oh. Mind the paintwork. Oh, all these things! Don't dent the roof. Well, where, where am I meant to go? On the bonnet, not the roof. I'm going to dent the bonnet of the car. Yeah, just lie across it, spread your weight. What are you doing? It's getting to the front toe, aren't you? What? What do you mean he's getting to the Stole front? that. I'm trying to counterbalance the weight of it by hanging out this side. Where do, where do you want me to go, man? Just lie across the bonnet. <laughs> Just lie! Lie down the bonnet. Ow! Head first, because you can't reach it with your legs. Maybe I can get on yeah. the bonnet, Just, car. Just slide down. You need to lie forwards. But slide, you hold his legs and let Don't him slide. Don't break the tree on the way down. Stop denting the roof. Oh. This is... There's nowhere to go, man! You want me to do it? I've got it. How am I going to slide down without doing any of these things that you tell me to be precious about? Just sort of step onto the wings. No, then. Just step onto the top of them with the corner of the bonnet. On oh, there? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Now spread your weight across the bonnet. 
That's it. Now reach. But be careful. Can you reach it? Not really, it's well low. <laughs> yeah, I've got it, got yeah. it. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah we've we've got got was here. Thank you. You're right there, Sid. Not really. I'm slipping off. You're not slipping. I am. Boy, get out and hold his legs. I've got the. Watch your head. Oh, oh yeah, be careful of uh, it. Watch his very pieces. posh boat. Oh, this isn't posh. This is a working boat. It's a beautiful boat. It is. It used to be. Right, there's the end loop group. Oh, I don't know how long we are. Oh, what's the face? <laughs> yeah. You just to hold on. Climb well, back out of board. See, that's physically impossible. Well, you just get, you yeah. can't just stay there. Come on, get back in. You look like a mess of that, you're making the boat. Do you want me to like, lean over? Exactly. And, do you want me to lean over and get your hand? Or? This is impossible, man. Just get back in. I don't want to dent anything. Just get my hands. I claim salary price. <laughs> <laughs> but you're alright. <laughs> we can keep it, can't we? See, so you are. Gonna There's power coming through that. I was getting electrocuted again. But he's fried it. I think so. Cool. Have you changed it once? Changed that before, yeah. Similar issue, is it, than what you had last time? Mm, yeah. Making the same sounds. I reckon this is fixable, Sid, or...? Um, maybe. Well, we've, got, we've got the Johnson as backup, but then the top speed will be a little bit less than this. Quite a bit less than this. Yes. Yeah. Awfully less than this. Just trying to convince Jack to bring his 35 down. Oh, is it still on about coming? Yeah. Tell him we need to. It's for the good of the video. What's your problem? See the eye, I think. Gotcha. Nice old engine. Yeah, it's it was. Too bad. <laughs> Just lost a bit of spark. One way or another, we'll fix it. Turn it up, turn it up! It resorted to rowing. Play a nice violin solo. Are you straight? Not yet. I think he does spark. Yes, yes, yes. That's working. Yeah, yeah, we've got some spark there. It's not in the right bloody place. We've got a screwdriver. There's ram in here, see if there's anything from in there. As we made it back to land right at the wrong time, someone we'd always wanted to meet, Mr Ed China from Wheeler Dealers and many other shows, decided that would be the perfect moment to show up and have a chat. We just couldn't believe we'd met anyone actually taller than our Corey. Probably worth checking that. I think so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah the, the back guard's well done backwards, so one set of suspension trails and the other set sort of oh, wow. jams into the bump. Yeah, inside there is the fuel cap for the other for the other car yeah, on the rear quarter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Four but inch wheel yeah, spaces. It's all the way down there, isn't it? And such like that is brilliant. But uh, it didn't yeah, right quite drive yeah, out the water. Yeah. Nearly, we were doing burnouts yeah. on the ramp. Was just, <laughs> just thinking about getting out, it was. And we've lost uh, the engine down. Yeah, engine's playing over the minute, but we're working on getting some spare engines brought down tonight. Oh, that's so great. We can carry on for tomorrow. That's you here all weekend, Leia? We are, pretty much. I think, yeah, we're doing some more filming, and then I think. Is the sofa here? I'm just now just being. No, the sofa's in California. Still. Oh, is it? Oh. Yeah, we did, we, drove, we did the SEMA a couple of years back, so we, we drove it from uh, LA to Vegas. Had a small fire. Managed to fix it overnight. Got it ready for Jay Leno and stuff. Did a some stuff yeah. with him and then we eventually got it back to LA and drove up to San Francisco and back just to the Lombardi Street, which is the wiggliest street in the world. Didn't even get a coffee and then come all the way back again. We kept overheating, so this ongoing problem. So it broke down almost every single day. But it was, I mean, driving down the one highway was just amazing. It's like, you know, the Pacific Coast Highway. Just... All that was left for the day now, though, was to try and harass Jack to leave home, go to the unit, grab some boat engines that are still attached to some boats, and drive all the way to Henley, about 100 miles south from him. The footwell is a bit full. 
Is it? Yeah, it is. Okay. What were you getting up to last night, Burns? Because now it's day two. You bloody, you were up to some no good antics last night, weren't you? I recall. Jack no. drove 100 odd miles to just be bummed in a caravan. <laughs> You're lucky the cameras were not on. Oh. Yeah, Burns had himself a few drinks last night, got rather drunk, and uh, oh, it was a, it was an ordeal all night. This thing is still broke. What we've done to it, Burns? Tell the, uh, the engine's people. gone to shit. CDI was it? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, so that engine of Jack's, what he sold us for a good tractor, a real good tractor, is broken. Slash, the engine's broken. Battery, no, no, there's, this battery's flat, isn't it? It's just a flat battery, we'll fix that. Shit on it. Rust or other things? Was the clutch stuck? I think so. Maybe. Okay. Possibly. Well, well, Welcome to the YouTube channel. Hi. Hello. Um, shit, isn't it? But it, it's a quality bit of engineering. What, what's this come off? No idea. That. Bernie or Lee people are not. What you need eBay is special. Stop about, stop the water going up the exhaust. When you sink it. It's got no windows. You don't need windows though. It doesn't work at the minute, so... Oh, I just wouldn't use that gear if I were you. Oh. This battery's just not good enough to... Would you like gear. to borrow my Land Rover to drag it around? And then you can uh, bump the clutch and do all that shit. I might need something. Keys are in it, help yourself. There's a great big You're toe strap in the, um, ba in the back of the stolly if you want. It's a 50 got ton a rope. one. Yeah. There you go, just help yourself. What's your name again? Top. I'm Gaz, nice to meet you. Legend, appreciate it. On paper, I really shouldn't like you lot. <laughs> 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 We're just so lovable. <laughs> I know, you're great. <laughs> but I um, hope yourself to Landro, the keys are in it. Brilliant, thanks man. We'll just push it back. Oh yeah, yeah, push it. Push. Full lock. And it's got 10 ton of bloody foam in it. Tom was right, on paper, we shouldn't have liked each other. However, this was the real world, and in the real world, that couldn't be further from the case. Although I don't recommend anyone giving us the keys and telling us to help ourselves. With some new friends and their toys, the boat's wagon limped its way back to the camping area, so we could decide what on earth we were going to do with it. Luckily for us, Jack had brought not one, but two engines with him. Corey's brand new pair of boots. So back to just the one issue? Yeah, just one problem. It drives now, the clutch was stuck, it wouldn't drive. Back to the build. <laughs> Episode 2 of the build video. Well, this is how we want it, we? we've got an engine for a day, each day. Yeah. Tomorrow we'll be on the 40. So is, is this like a direct replay? Will they all the ignition and Kitchen everything be No, we'll start, we'll start that one. Oh, all the steering you've rigged up for this one should bolt yeah. straight in there, shouldn't it? Not ideal. Does the steering sort of same as that guy bolt in the middle? It's not got the bolt, you only see that on. I hope it fits, because we might have to drill this out of it. Drill it? Yeah, we were drilling it a bit, yeah. Jack didn't like the sound of drilling in his new engine. What's the CDI's like? Well, it's saying just try and change the CDI. Different in that building, one. Building, isn't it? Clean it up really nice. Oh my god, See if that one's got the same plug. It should have a really quick connector sort of plug, shouldn't it? Is it going to fall over? Is that roughly going to stay? What are we going to have to do? Maybe steal this CDI. Or oh, and try and fit it to what's already there. Same, yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. How are you for a loaner CDI that will come back this afternoon blown out? Yeah, he loves it. It's gonna last three hours. Really happy, he drove 100 miles. Pounds. Then I'll have a fucked out butt. Not to mention fuel <laughs> to get. We've all got broken apple tyres. We collect those broken apples.
they fix their cars quite quickly, don't they? No, but they won't say, they've got transit, and you look like pikers. Yeah, yeah. Right, so. You don't fit in very well, do you? When you've got a... Oh, the nail that stands out gets hammered. I remember when I first bought mine. That's in the sort of engine. I think what's is happening now is these wires are jiggerligging. Uh, well, they're not going to jiggerlig now. No, they're taped up now. Right. Different coils and all sorts of stuff, don't we? Right, have a test run. She in neutral. She's not in the pallet, is she? Not? No. Mm. There we go then. After some slight bodgery, we were once again ready to hit the waters for another day on the Thames. However, before we could go for a dip, Mr. Dutton himself, founder of Dutton Cars, who make amphibious cars professionally, wanted to have a look at our creation. Would he be impressed? Probably not. Yes, yeah. <laughs> what do you think? This is our this creation. Is it is. Built it in the past three weeks. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I finished it yesterday. <laughs> yeah, it's Friday afternoon. It Does was it finished. work? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, Except so, for so coming out the wall. Yeah, yeah you're not, you're not <laughs> quite <laughs> more mastered that bit. Yeah. It's a six wheel drive. Oh, yeah, yeah, I wish it was. <laughs> not that far. Plus, yeah. you were notching bits out the axle, weren't you? Yeah, I've notched the axle to fit the exhaust oh. over it. All oh, right. Sort of yeah. snapped a bit at us. We've got uh, both axles driving, or just one? Is it no, just front wheel drive. drive yeah. right. Based on a Volkswagen Polo. Oh, yeah. Two welded together, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Michael. Oh, Mr. Dutton. Mr. Dutton himself. We're also featuring Mr. Dutton. Yeah. yeah. The man himself. How you doing, man? I brought you some fuel. <laughs> oh, legend. Are you going to be coming on later? Yeah, well, I do. The heavy green boy this Day two, we've got Jack here, we've got Aaron. Were you on it yesterday at all? No, I so wanted to make sure it floats. You thought you'd give, it a, give yeah, it a day, yeah. see how it is, and I if it works. Terry's, Terry's happy with it, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah. The saviour. Not the good 100 saviour. 100 miles with two engines and two memory cards. And now no artboard myself. Well, no sleep. No, hey. no sleep. Destroyed, have you? No, no, no. Are you, uh, can you get off there, can you? Or are you trapped? Is that an actual yeah. car? It is, yeah. We're about to drive it out if it works. Can you get off there or are you trapped? Um, well, I can, I can shuffle. 
I'll find a way. Yesterday's failings on the boat ramp behind us, Charlie thought it best to head into the local town of Henley and see if we could get out of one of the boat ramps there, considering they didn't have a pesky metal cover on them. fully annoyed and the roads were blocked, we thought it best to turn round and head straight back into the water and carry on spreading the joy that is the boat one. Rubber all over the water. You don't say. Where's your wallet? You're just showing off now. How many times you saved us today, Tom? Sorry? How many times you saved us so far? Every time. Just By the time we got back onto land and after another quick hand from Tom, we were informed that we should make our way over to the weekend awards show for some possibly good reasons. We quickly smartened up and grabbed a few jars of pims to see if our little boat had won the hearts of the judges. Hi. And the award for Harry's horse goes <laughs> to Charlie Burns. Do you want to grab that chair? Do we should grab that table? Uh, uh, is that table? Is, it is quite special indeed. It's called Edwina, it's a punt, and it's owned by Tony Knight and Dan Wood. Okay. Is it, you reckon it's a big one? I'm very keen to point out that I have nothing to do with the eccentric award. This could be it. Only because nobody's found one suitably eccentric for him yet. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, I'm um, <clears throat> an honorary member of the eccentric club. Lyndon has been a member of the eccentric club. I suspect he's a, a founding member. Actually, one of the founding members was Prince Philip. Um, it's an eccentric club for eccentrics. And so they gave a prize for the most eccentric vehicle boat vehicle here and um, oddly enough it's I don't know whether anybody's noticed but there's been something out on the river 
that looks like two Volkswagen Polos belted together with an outboard motor on the back. Surely not. That's because that's what it is. And, it, <laughs> and it's called Boatswagen, or Boatswagen, and um, it nearly sank twice um, and had to be rescued. And so we think that they deserve a prize. So I don't know who owns Boatswagen. Day three of the traditional Henley Boat Festival. We're just about to go back on the water for the parade and the winner's parade that we're now in. Because last night we won an award for the most eccentric uh, vehicle here. And I've just been running, so uh, I've got to get in the boat and we'll get on the water. Uh, possibly. As I was saying, it's day three of the traditional Henley Boat Festival. We won an award last night, most eccentric vehicle here. So we're just about to enter the uh, winner's parade and I was running a bit late so uh, I'm a bit tired out we'll show you another day at Henley in the most eccentric vehicle here
walk through a lot. I have a feeling they're going to be rigorously checking our licenses. Show. Or in the village, we've been out of the village, we have caused into traffic chaos. Volkswagen Polo. Did it? Yeah. Well, two of them welded together. <laughs> Early finished building it on Friday, and uh, yeah, come straight here. <laughs> the bilge pump's gone into it again. <laughs> we have uh, the bilge pump basically bulging into the car at the minute. <laughs> Probably the most unusual way to pull up to get an up quick ice cream on the river or the road. Okay. Shall we leave the mooring? an amazing time at the traditional boat festival, we'd seen some fine craftsmanship, some beautiful cars and vehicles and of course some brilliant looking boats. Most importantly we met some wonderful people we now call friends and overall the Boatswagon was a swinging success. There was only one issue engine wise and a slightly rusty clutch cable at times and a poor boat ramp we had no control over but with all that said we still walked away with an award at one of the poshest boating festivals this fine country has to offer. So join us next time when we show one of the original chop shop creators what we'd done to their much loved surf car and hopefully take them out on the water to experience the fun for themselves. <laughs>